Hi friends! Today we're going to talk about every book I DNF'd in 2022. In 2022, I really took a stand on being pro DNF. If I wasn't having a good time, I DNF'd a book. If it felt like it wasn't the book for me, I DNF'd the book. I DNF'd a lot of books by <laughs> fellow author tubers or people who I know through other writing groups, things like that, because sometimes the book just isn't for you. So some of these books, like there was nothing inherently wrong with them, but because I knew my rating was going to be low, I didn't want to finish reading it and give it a low rating and then hurt its overall rating on Goodreads or Amazon. So basically, some of these were really bad books and I just hated them. And some were books that I was just like, this isn't really for me. Uh, and I'll leave it up to you to decide which is which. Because I DNF'd over 50 books this year, I will not be going into discussing what they're about nor will I be putting their pretty picture on the screen because most of these are not worth any more of my time. Okay, uh, so I'm just gonna tell you the book title. That's what the book is. The author and the percentage which I DNF'd, if I know it. Some of these were like try a chapter DNFs. So like I would read a chapter or two or three and then would DNF it. So some have a like a chapter number instead of a percentage, but. That's neither here nor there. I'm gonna be reading these off of my fancy notebook. Uh, so let's start. Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. I DNF'd that at 20%. How to Love Your Neighbor by Sophie Sullivan. That was 40%. The Legend of Lilith by Hilary Oliver. That was 10%. Lineage by C. Von Zale Lewis at 15%. Bad Luck Bridesmaid by Alison Rose Greenberg, and that was 40%. This May End Badly by Samantha Markham, 15%. Wicked As You Wish by Renchu Pecco at 20%. The Camelot Betrayal by Kirsten White at 15%. The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake at 70%. That's 70%. The One True Me and You by Remy K. England at 15%. I'm sorry, that one was 20%. The Sizzle Paradox by Lily Manon at 5%. Furthermore, by Tejeda Mafi at one chapter. Heirs of Fate by Amara Luciano at 10%. And this was the second time I DNF'd this book at 10%. I soft DNF'd it before and then re-DNF'd it. Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi at chapter three. My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga. Uh, this one I read the first chapter of, and it's definitely a book that would emotionally destroy me, and this was not the year for that, so. The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan He, and that was at one chapter. Heartless by Marissa Meyer, also at one chapter. Full Flight by Ashley Schumacher. This is another one that I chose not to read um, because of the year that I had. I kind of read a little bit of the first chapter, and knowing Ashley Schumacher and how much her first book hurt me. I knew that this was not the year to read Full Flight. Um, I may pick it up again someday in the future, but I also may never pick up any of her books again, depending on how emotionally distraught I am at the time. So take that as you will. Chosen by Kirsten White at 20%. This is when I decided that I probably will never pick up another Kirsten White. I have read or attempted to read six of them. Four of them have been DNFs. So I think that means I should probably move on. Firekeeper's Daughter by Adrian Bully at 10%. For the Record by Charlotte Huang at chapter one. The Valiant by Leslie Livingston, chapter two. To Kill a Kingdom by Alexander Cristo, chapter one. My Lady Jane didn't even make it through chapter one. Which is Steeped in Gold by Shannon Smart at, ooh, didn't write that one down. I think it was the first chapter. I really struggled getting into that one. In Some Other Life by Jessica Brody. One chapter, Long May She Brain by Rhiannon Thomas, one chapter, The Thousandth Floor by Somebody McGee, didn't write down the first name because why would I do that? That was also at one chapter, A Lullaby for Witches by Hester Fox at 25%, The Secret Next Door by Rebecca Taylor at 30%, The Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales at 14%, A Fire and Stars, one chapter, As Much As I Ever Could, 
one chapter, Because You Love to Hate Me, one chapter, The Savior's Champion, one chapter, The Star-Touched Queen by Roshni Chakshi, 15%. Empire of Wild by Cherie Domeline, 30%. Long Story Short by Serena Kaler, 10%. Fake It Till You Bake It by Jamie Wesley, 5%. Bet On It by Jody Slaughter, 10%. Not Exactly What I Had in Mind by Kate Brooke, 15%. Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood, 25%. Double Double Twins and Trouble, I believe by Luna Graves, and that was 10%. Elizabeth Webster and the Court of Common Pleas, I did not write who the author was of that one, but I DNF'd that at 25%. A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee at 80%, that is an 8 and a 0 and a percent. The Grim Rose Girls by Laura Pohl at 10%. Pretty Dead Queens by Alexa Dunn at 8%. The Merciless Ones by Namina Forna at 30%. I'll never remember which Bronte sister wrote which book because I don't know, um, but I DNF'd both Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights at one chapter. And I wrote Aurora Burning on here, but I technically just unhauled that. I didn't really try to read any of it. I think that was 51. So if we take off Aurora Burning, we're still at 50. I DNF'd a lot this year. I support DNFing. Um, whether it's because the book is bad and you don't like it, or if it's because you don't want to upset the world with a bad review for a book that's not written for you. Um, you know, sometimes I will read a book that's just bad because I have to know how bad it really is uh, and will rate it poorly. But I try to, <laughs> I try to like, if I can, if I'm reading it and I'm like, this just really isn't the book for you. You should find a different book. I really try to stop reading those so that I don't have to rate them poorly. But I don't believe that you should read every book you start. I don't think you should have to finish every book you start, I guess I should say. Because there's so little time and so many books to read and, and there's not enough time to be reading books you don't enjoy. So let me know down in the comments below if you DNF'd any books this year, like what was your longest DNF. You know, I had some 70 and 80% ones. What was your longest DNF percentage? Or what was your number of DNFs this year? Um, or if you don't DNF anything, let me know which book you wish you had DNF this year. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. Right now we're in the middle of Advent, so you're getting a video every day between now and the 24th. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!